Hey there, I'm Matt Greenler from Click in Australia, here to share a couple of Click application automation examples that I've created for Excel-based reporting using Office 365. Now this is a companion video to a document that I've shared on Click Community. You can find the link to that page in the video description in order to access the resources that I describe. Now getting data out of ClickSense Enterprise SaaS and distributing it to different users in a formatted and branded Excel has been a manual task until now. But thanks to the release of Click Application Automation, it is now possible to automate this workflow by leveraging the connectors for Office 365, specifically Microsoft SharePoint and Microsoft Excel. Now there's a few things to note up front. Click Application Automation cannot attach files using the mail block. So instead, these examples distribute a SharePoint link to users. Click Application Automation also has a limit of 100,000 rows when getting data out of a ClickSense straight table. And the on-demand example that I'm about to describe uses an extension object in ClickSense Enterprise SaaS in order to pass certain values to the automation. An update to the native click button object is expected soon, which will provide a supported way to pass selections. But for this example, I'm using an extension. If you're happy with all that, let's go. For the first example, let's look at an automation to create a scheduled report. First, download the scheduledReport.json file attached to the document I linked below on Click Community. Now we're going to create a new automation in ClickSets Enterprise SaaS. Give it a name and then upload the workspace you just downloaded by right clicking in the editor canvas and selecting Upload Workspace. Next, select the Create Binary File Personal OneDrive block. Select Connection in the block configurator to the right, and then create your connection to Microsoft SharePoint. Now, select the Get Straight Table Data block. Under Inputs in the block configurator, look up your App ID, Sheet ID, and Object ID for the relevant ClickSense Enterprise SaaS table you wish to import. Next, select the Create Excel Table with Headers block. Select Connection in the Block Configurator, and then create your connection to Microsoft Excel. Select the Send Mail block. Under Inputs in the Block Configurator, update the two to reflect the addresses you wish to deliver to. And also, with the Send Mail block still selected, select Connection in the Block Configurator and add your sender details. Now to test. Save and then run the automation. If you receive any warnings or errors, navigate to the relevant blocks and ensure your connection is selected in the Block Configurator. Here we can see I've received the template email, and if I click the link, I have the Excel report here. Now we're ready to schedule. Select the start block. Under inputs in the block configurator, change run mode to scheduled and define your required schedule. That's it. Now in this next example, we're going to look at extending this to support an on-demand report use case, where users inside a ClickSense app will be able to make selections, define a delivery email, and trigger the report to generate and send. From here on, I'm going to assume you've already created the connections from the first example. Download the on-demand report version 2.json file attached to the document. Next, download and install the ClickBlends extension. This will allow you to trigger an automation from within a ClickSense app and also allows us to pass values to the automation. Please follow the installation instructions as described on the extension repository page. Once installed, create a new automation in ClickSense Enterprise SaaS, give it a name, 
and then upload the workspace you just downloaded by right clicking in the editor canvas and selecting upload workspace. Now ensure your connections are selected in the block configurator for each of the following blocks. Create binary file, personal OneDrive. Create Excel table with headers. Add rows to an Excel worksheet table batch. Create sharing link and send mail. Then save the automation. Select the start block and ensure the run mode is set to triggered. Now make note of the URL and execution token shown in the post examples. Next, open your chosen ClickSense Enterprise SaaS application and edit the sheet where you wish to add a button to trigger an on-demand report. Under Custom Objects, look for Click Blends from the Extensions menu and drag this into your sheet. Under the Blend properties to the right, add in your post webhook URL and token as we noted previously. We will now add three measures to the Click Blends object. It is important you add them in this order that I describe. If you don't, the automation will fail. Add the first measure using the following function in the expression editor, get current selections. Open bracket, close bracket. Add the second measure using the following function, document name, open bracket, close bracket. Now the final measure will be the object ID of the table you wish to use. To find the object ID, select done editing and then right click on the table, select share, select embed, and then look for the object ID under the preview. Copy this value, go back into editing mode and paste this as your third measure value. Now with the click blends object selected, under form, select add items and for item type, select text. Under default value, you can choose to add a default email address. For label and reference, type in email with a capital E. It is critical that reference is updated to email with a capital E. If you don't, the automation will fail. Turn required input on, and from here, you can now change the appearance properties to suit your preferences, such as updating the button label and message, enabling a dialog, and even changing the default colors under theme. Once you're happy with the object, test the on-demand report by entering an email and clicking the button. Now this on-demand report automation can be used across multiple apps and tables by simply copying the extension object between apps and sheets and updating the object ID, which was measure number three, for each instance. So there you have it, two example automations for scheduled and on-demand reporting leveraging Office 365. But you can also update these automations to suit your needs. The template block uh, contains the template Excel in base 64 format. You could instead read the template from a file and use the base64 function in order to encode it. Also, instead of creating a public link, you could choose specific people to get access to the report. You can modify the email template to suit your needs. You could use a SharePoint site instead of a personal OneDrive, or maybe ditch the email completely and push a notification out to Teams or Slack. Uh, there are plenty of possibilities thanks to the power of Click Application Automation. That concludes this video. Please feel free to add a comment to either the video or the community document if you have any questions, and I hope this helps inspire you for new use cases for Click Application Automation.